Oh, bar recorder. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Huge congratulations. What's up, everybody? We're back. I'm out with Dad again today. He's down there. We're on the site, I believe, of an old school. Um, I don't know if we're exactly on it or not, but I know it was here somewhere. I've been told by a couple different people that there used to be an old school right here. Um, called this morning, talked to the township because it's public-ish property, township property. Uh, got the blessing, so we are here. Um, very quiet in this field. Like I said, I don't know if the school was up in this front field part or if it was up on this hill farther. Uh, but I got something. So, let's take a look. What I got. This is uh, what looks to be a World War II general service cuff button. So, I'm happy with that one. Not bad for the first target of the day. I haven't really, I mean, I got out of the Jeep, I walked across this way, and then, and then up. First actual target. So, let's hope there's more. Right on. Well, target number two, part of an old spoon. Um, not a lot of targets in here. I mean, I guess it's good because I'm not digging up a bunch of trash, but you know, I want a little bit more targets. A little more fun would be fun. Anyways, on to the next one. I had an absolutely beautiful Indian head penny signal and that's what it was, it wasn't very deep at all up in the short grass. I'm gonna have to hammer down on this section need to get dad up here, find him some old coins dude's on his way, we left that field part wasn't a whole lot there that's what I'm talking about, not bad for a first coin There we are, another one, 1902. These are the dates of coins that I expect to be finding around here from uh, the research that I've done and what people have told me. And I dropped it, don't worry, I got it. Um, yeah, hopefully there's some silver around here. It'd be fun to find a little silver coin or a big silver coin or nickel. Awesome. Very excited. I don't know why, but I'm going to curse myself with a live dig. I don't know, it seems big. I can't really get a good pinpoint on it. Maybe that's just because it's as deep as it is. Maybe it's not that deep and it's just a piece of junk and that's why I can't, but if this is a coin, it's going to be a silver coin. I think. I guess I could get that memorial hatred going on. Just have it be a high ring and memorial, but. Screaming at me, what are you? Is it this? There's no way it's just this thing. Yeah, maybe. That's why it wasn't very, uh, very great sounding, but dang. Let's swing the hole again. That was it. Garbage. Of course I didn't live dig this one. It sounded like I don't, maybe a memorial, maybe a weedy. Oh, I can't even see what it is. I'm like shaking. The Merc. Oh, it's super smooth. Did I just get. I gotta clean this thing off. Did I just get sat down? There's no way. 
Hang on. Oh, buddy. <laughs> oh, I just got sat down. Look at it. Are you kidding me? Oh, it is so worn. One dime. That is an old coin. Uh, 1857? I think that's my new oldest silver. I think it's my new oldest silver. I think my other one was 1873. Oh, I'm shaking. Dad. It's shiny. I see that. Rosie. 1853. Seated. What? <laughs> you should. You just had it in your pocket. I wish. There you go. There you go, dude. You can pull a dime off a pile of shit. Oh man. Check it out. Dad just dug up an Indian. Whatever you found it. 1903. Excellent. Three Indians from this little section and a silver dime. I'll take it. I don't know how much longer we'll be here. It's uh, pretty slim pickings. Go back to that big hole that I dug and see if you can find whatever it is. But what's here is old, so that's good. We'll poke around a little bit. All right, so I've been swinging around a minute and uh, decided to go get the six inch coil on because of the amount of iron in this place. And I come back with my first pass over. What the? Uh -huh. I got this. And it's right up. It's got to be a barber. 1902 barber quarter. Boom. Absolutely amazing. It is amazing. Little coil. I'm so glad. I just, just told him. So I'm going to throw the little coil on and go around a little bit. Give it a few minutes. There you go. That'll work. Oh, uh, I'm gonna get shaky, strap you back to my chest. Little spray? Yeah, I got it. Double team you. Look at that shit. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> That's what's up. Good condition too. Not bad. A little worn, but not bad. Yeah, we can leave. Nope. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of hammer around here a little bit. Uh, Beautiful. Beautiful. So you guys could only see the smile on my face right now, but you're strapped to my chest, so. Amazing. Well, my newest coin on the day. Got a weedy. Always got to get a weedy on the day, right? Uh, definitely my newest coin. I can't tell what it is. 1930, I believe. It's either a 30 or a 39. There's a little piece of schmooze on the last digit, so I can't tell if it's a 30 or 39. Anyways, still old. And I like it. Keep on going. All right, we're going to try to do one live with you. So... Well, semi left. I already got the target. Uh, like pinpointed. That's 27, 28, 29, 30. Um, I dug the plug and I was off a little bit. And that's why I decided to let you guys come along. It's right here. Let's see what we can get. A nail? A nail. Is that really what that is? Never live digging again. Well, this is an interesting one. Um, 
definitely looks like a necklace of sort. It's just a little bit different than what you'd picture for the age of the place, I guess. Uh, I can't tell if you can see it on the screen, but there's definitely some some possibly gold plating going on inside of there. Uh, definitely going to get this one home and cleaned up a little bit better. Might hit it with a little lemon juice to try to bring the shine back to it. We'll see. It's neat. Definitely never dug one before, so keeping that unit.